guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Alexis, and welcome to another episode of Family Dynamics. It has been so long since I have been with this family. I have been missing them so much, and I hope you guys have too. I am so sorry for keeping you away from them for so long, but we are back, and we are good. I'm gonna actually turn down the volume a little bit more, but we have a lot of updates. Well, by a lot, I just mean like two. <laughs> But, um, as you can see, we have two new family members. Um, well, they're not, like, new permanent family members. They're just visitors that we have not met before. So, this is- let me just ha have him, you know, do, do his business. I don't want to interrupt his- <laughs> His business. Let me have her wake up. This is Jade Pizzazz and her husband Alan Pizzazz and yes they are Penny's mother and father. Um, so they actually live in Sulani. They moved there, they retired there when Penny decided to go and live in San Maestruno to pursue her career in social media and they just wanted to live the island life and why is it still so loud? Oh my gosh. Okay. They just wanted to live the island life. And I mean, they both have this aspiration called beach life. But now since the birth of their grandson, Eric, they had to come and visit. And you're probably wondering, you know, why did they not come to the wedding? And that is just because money was an issue at the time. Like, they had literally just moved to Solani, and Penny was like, oh, it's okay, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Like, of course I want you guys to come, but, like, I, I understand. And it was just really hard, because I, I would imagine Solani is like like Hawaii, so it's like on the other side of the country, and then Brindleton Bay. Or, I'm sorry, they got married in um, Tartosa. So, Tartosa, I would imagine, is like somewhere like in Italy. So, they're probably, yeah, it's like really, really far away. So, that's why, you know, I'm kind of saying that they just couldn't make it to the wedding, not because they didn't want to come, but it was just kind of unrealistic. But we, you know, obviously FaceTimed or whatever it is in The Sims, and we talked to them and. Um, they met Eric over the phone, but obviously this is their first time meeting Eric in person. Um, and then this is their first time meeting their little grandson, Eric. So yeah, that's just a little backstory that I had for them. I wanted to just introduce like a new set of Sims into this LP, not because I felt like it was getting boring. I just felt like it needed that like depth to it. I needed to have somebody's parents. We know a little bit about Eric's parents, or I'm sorry, Channing's parents. Um, his parents were from Italy and came over here to Brindleton Bay, but they unfortunately passed away. Um, and I never told you guys about Penny's parents, so I decided to just like introduce them into this LP. So they're going to be staying for maybe about a month I just haven't I haven't quite determined that yet or maybe they will move here I honestly don't know they they really really like Suwani so I don't think that's I don't know if that's gonna be possible for them um, but a little bit about their dynamic is that Penny and her mother actually have a strict dynamic her mother is not a bad person whatsoever but her mother, and she's not like snooty or like stuck up. She just wants the best for Penny. Um, but Penny and her father, however, um, where is it at? I think they just have a, yeah, they have a supportive family dynamic. So compared to her mother, um, Alan is very, very supportive in whatever Penny wants to do. But Jade was just kind of hesitant on Penny moving out. I think Penny moved to San Maestruno when she was 18. Like, as soon as she graduated high school, she moved to San Maestruno. And not because she wanted to get away from anything, but just because she wanted to pursue her um, social media career. And, I mean, she's done an amazing job for herself, so obviously, like, it turned out good. But for some reason, there's just, like, a little bit of a, of a distance between them. So... But that is okay. But yeah, I just wanted to introduce you guys to 
the new sims that we have in our household and i am loving the look of my game right now oh my gosh if you guys saw my new video on some of my graphic mods that i have in i got some new graphic mods that replaced the trees and like the foliage oh my gosh it is just so beautiful it looks so realistic um, but yeah, and then I did turn this room into a guest room. I, I believe in the last episode, these two rooms were empty, but I turned this into a guest room and then I turned this into a little play area for Eric. And then I, um, kind of redid our, our living room. I love the colors. This is all custom content. <laughs> I think, well, except these end tables and this TV, but I just couldn't help myself. I love custom content. Um, and then last update, I promise, and then we'll get into gameplay, but Eric is actually aging up. Where is it at? Oh my goodness. Eric is actually due to age up. So I turned off aging just for the purpose of like doing this intro because I didn't want him to like age up accidentally because I feel like we don't have, we didn't have that much time with him as an infant. So I do want to play a little bit of this episode, maybe like half of this episode with him as an infant for you guys, because that was just way too soon. Like he should not be aging up already. Um, but he is asleep right now. I'll let him sleep. Also Channing lost a best friend, Angela. Greenberg, which obviously that's her, that's not her maiden name. Her maiden name was um, Pleasant, Angela Pleasant. She unfortunately passed away. And when that notification came up, I was so sad. I'm like, we've literally been with you since the very beginning. Like, do you guys remember in San Myshuno when we were in our apartment? And I believe Angela was working at like one of the food stalls and we became best friends with her because we were like talking about food and our love for cooking and and saying hey do you, you know asking her all these things about what she she serves and she's like i don't know i just work here dude <laughs> and then we just became best friends it's, it's just i was so sad to see that she passed away um but what i was saying i think i was saying um for the remainder of this generation it is basically ugh, it is basically going to be us working on his skills so we still have to get his skills up he does have level 10 cooking now um which i forgot what episode that happened in but we do have to get mixology to level 10 and i i don't do we have to get baking up i don't know I think it was just mixology and cooking, but I'll have to double check on that. I mean, might as well just like try to get everything that we can up and then basically just maintaining our plants. We have 10 unique plants and like I said, what I had discovered from people telling me was that the 10 unique plants just basically means 10 different plants. So they, you can't have like five of the same. They have to be each completely different and I still have his I need to actually put this outside let me put this outside it's kind of weird to have like it's kind of disrespectful to have his urns just inside our garage so let's put it outside for him let me actually go into build mode and like settle it between the two trees <laughs> that is so sad like that is just so sad anytime a pet dies it's just horrible um and then a little update to the backyard i actually added these two lounge chairs underneath or hanging chairs like underneath the this deck and then i added a water balloon bite bucket whatever because <laughs> it's actually about to be or is it about to be Okay, we're in the beginning of spring, but it's about to be summer after that. And then I added a little mixology table, um, and I actually got this out. I felt like Channing would really be into to making nectar or wine. So I got this out for him, and then I added a little kiddie pool for the warmer days so we can have fun with Eric. But yeah, that's just like a little update on the house and everything. Um, but let's just get into to gameplay. Oh, also, we are needing to buy our restaurant, you guys. And I did show you guys the restaurant, I believe. But now we just have to buy it. And it is pretty expensive. <laughs> 
So I don't know how the heck we're gonna do it, but hopefully, you know, Penny can make us some money. And I know Channing, obviously, he is level seven of the, the culinary career, but we're gonna have to figure some way out. Maybe we'll just sell like everything we own. <laughs> because it's I think it's like thirty thousand dollars or something um I'll have to double check but I want to get him his restaurant I just I really really do oh this is happening again what in the actual world <laughs> I always have this problem with my sims I don't know what's causing that but we're just gonna ignore it I'm gonna have them go to bed um what is he doing out here is he checking our mail for us? Maybe he's paying our bills for us. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, he's going to go to bed. Okay, good. Penny is in bed. And Channing, what can you do? You honestly, you honestly not that tired. So maybe let's go out here and practice making drinks. Any minute or any second that we can get to help you raise up your skill, I will gladly take. But I am just loving the look of this house, how it's coming together and oh, everything. Why is he sleeping outside? Or is he scared? He's scared of something. Poor dog. One thing that would be cool in this episode is to have like a little get together somewhere. Um, maybe another dinner party or we could just have a get together and um, have everyone meet jade and alan because i feel like penny would want everyone to meet her parents and vice versa i feel like she would want her parents to meet her friends and stuff but yeah i have actually also been thinking of adopting a cat i think i told you guys this um because i see so many cats around brindleton bay like i don't even see dogs i just see cats that's it and it has been making me want to get a cat so much also i do plan oh look at bruno bruno is here let's we have to invite to household what does that mean what does that do wait what does this mean oh that means he's like a permanent part of our household as a ghost i mean that's fine with me i mean maybe <laughs> i didn't know we could have ghosts like dogs in our inventory oh no craving for new flavors eric is tired of milk try exploring baby foods okay well maybe we can i mean it's 1 15 in the morning so i don't know <laughs> when i tell you eric is the cutest infant ever he is like he is literally so cute we're gonna give him a toy um but we have been working on a lot of stuff with him i don't think i showed you guys like this is all that i i did with him and part of the reason why he's aging up already is because i did play off camera with him a little little bit a little little bit <laughs> not too much though let's we give him a toy <laughs> i thought we gave him a toy let's have him crawl around Maybe he'll learn how to stand or something. Can they learn? Can infants learn how to stand or no? Oh, he's standing. <laughs> oh my god. I'm dying. I said, can infants learn how to stand? And on cue, he stood. He's like, yeah, I can learn how to stand. <laughs> no. What was that? What was that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so freaking hilarious. I can't. I can't. Oh my gosh. What are you doing, Penny? You're eating some whole wheat bread. It says there's something wrong with Penny. I don't know if we should go to the doctor or I should just ignore that because I know that's like one of our, one of my mods that I have in. And sometimes I feel like I should just take it out. Oh, he is about- oh, he fell down. He's about to pee himself. He keeps on falling down. That's so funny. I mean, it shouldn't be funny. It's kind of sad, but... Okay. But I think I want them to have another kid, like, for sure. Um, I can't- I want- I need to see what their baby- like, more of their babies would look like. Okay, he peed in his diaper, so let's give him a bubble bath. But yeah, like, I just, I can't have them have just one kid. I need to see what the rest of their babies would look like. Like, I want to try to have a girl. I need to see what their girls are going to look like. I, I just, I want to have a couple, maybe, honestly, not a couple. I think just one more baby. We'll see. 
I don't know why I said baby like that. Okay, I kind of feel bad, but I kind of want to remove him from our family, you guys. I'm sorry. I love Bruno, and I want him, you know, like, I want him back from the dead, but I just don't want a ghost. I don't want a ghost dog in our in our household. I just don't really think that's realistic, so. Um, but I'm gonna have Chicken go back to bed. He had to get up to use the bathroom. Can you guys not tell me that he is not the cutest infant I, you have ever seen? Look at his eyes! His eyes are so pretty. I think he has his dad's eyes and his dad's hair. Well, he has both. Like, she has the same color hair. But he has, that, like, that curly hair. Kind of like Channing does. Like, that curly, long hair. I can't. I can't wait to see what he looks like as a toddler, too. Like, just every, every stage. It doesn't matter. I just love him so much. Let's go ahead and put Eric down here. That way he can do some stuff on his own because he is you know he does know a lot of stuff like like he knows how to crawl how to sit up all right it kind of annoys me that you have to like oh i think you do at least yeah i think you have to like keep doing that that practice standing interaction and that's kind of annoying because why can't you just like keep practicing like it doesn't make sense i wish we had strollers in this game why do i keep clicking on drugs <laughs> I wish we had strollers. I, I'm. They need to make a mod. I think they've made mods like that were from The Sims 3. Like I know that there was like this like arcade machine in The Sims 3, and someone like just converted it to The Sims 4. So they need to do that for the strollers. I wonder if that is possible. Oh, our mom's coming in here. Oh, I for. Hmm. I'm not- I'm just gonna turn around. <laughs> I forgot to show you guys their traits. Um, what is wrong with me? <laughs> but Jade is a child of the ocean. She's adventurous and she's paranoid and she's goofy. Um, those are all just like mods and stuff. Um, and then Alan is childish, a glutton, and he is ambitious. So... All right, Channing can wake up as well, and we're going to have him cook something for everybody. I think we're going to have him bake, actually, because that's one thing that we need to work on, is our baking skill. So, let's bake maybe some bagels or something. We will do some blueberry bagels this morning. I'm going to raise up her energy just a little bit. Um... And does Channing have work today? No, he has work in two days. Okay, good. Oh, he wants to go on vacation to Granite Falls. Oh, what? Is he asleep on the floor in here? Oh. Oh, I feel so bad. He's still on the floor. Oh, she's tending our garden for us. I didn't know she had a gardening skill. She's gardening level one. Why is she using that to weed? Wait a second. Did she just rip up? Oh no, she didn't. Okay. I was like, why are why are they gone? I'm gonna have her come pick Eric up and put him to bed in his crib. Because I don't want him sleeping on the floor. We'll pick him up. Alright, what is she gonna do? Um, I don't really have any plans except maybe we can go on a vacation. Like, I think we should go on a vacation while they're here. Like, I know this is kind of like a vacation for them kind of but um oh whoa he can literally eat around in the trash is that what that said or rummage for food oh my god <laughs> that's funny oh they bobby did a big dookie right ne next to us thank you bobby i got the new my sims advanced game you should get it too remember when we went to the remember when we went to the um geek con festival together when we lived in San Myshuno and Tariq was there and he was flirting with our man and no, I'm just kidding I think that was like a glitch or something is okay yeah Eric's asleep all right I am gonna go ahead and turn aging back on I hate that I have to do that but I'm gonna do it I, I mean obviously like that's the whole point of the challenge is to have aging on normal so yeah aging on normal and we are going to probably see all of our friends die like honestly how is Tariq 
Is he an Okay, he's just an adult. Okay. I didn't... I thought Angela was just an adult, too. Like, I didn't think she was an elder already. So, that was kind of sad to see her pass away. But, yeah. It's his birthday today. And I think we're probably just going to have a small celebration. Obviously, Channing is probably going to cook a cake for us. Or bake a cake for us. But, uh... Other than that, I don't want to, you know, invite, like, a whole bunch of people. Maybe when we start making, or when he starts making friends, like, in school or something, we could do that. But for now, we will just have it with our family. But let's have him come up here and cook a cake. It takes forever to load because he's level 10. <laughs> okay, so we can do a hamburger cake. You know what? I also have, um, like, this mod over here. The Granny's Cookbook mod. Let's do desserts. Here we go. Maybe there's, like, some cute cakes we could do. We got the famous birthday cake. That birthday cake. Black for baby blue cake. Or baby cake. gingerbread cake, sherbet unicorn cake. Let's do the penguin iceberg cake. I feel like that'd be cute for for him. He loves, Eric loves animals, so. Alan is childish, so he is playing with the toy. He, I feel like when I make a childish sim or a childish adult, I never do it in like the bad way. Like there's, Kind of different ways that you can see a childish person or a childish sim. Ooh, let's have Channing go put the candles on this cake before anyone eats it. Or who's closest? Oh, no. Please, no one eat it. Uh, add birthday candles, yeah. Oh, okay. feel like they haven't had time for themselves in so long and look at them they're both about to pass out so let me raise this up a little bit just so we can have a little bit of fun here with chan or with eric but i feel like they haven't had a moment to themselves because now that the parents have moved in and we literally just had eric like oh my gosh it has just been so hectic but i love it i love it oh the wine glass is right here look at him trying to blow out the candles oh my gosh Okay, let's see. So Eric has earned a bonus trait. What is his bonus trait? And then he inherited the level one thinking skill and the level two or level one movement skill. So let's just randomize it. That's what I did for this. So we'll do one, two, three. Inquisitive. Okay. <gasps> Look at this little boy. <gasps> Look at his eyes. He is so cute. Look at his teeth. Aww. Honestly, I I told you guys that Channing and Penny's kid would, like, they are going to make amazing looking babies. And look at this. I usually get the ugliest looking babies, but the, he is so adorable. All right. I think I'm going to change his eyes back to what they were, though. I think they were this color. Yeah, he's perfect to me. Like, I'm going to change his clothes, but I honestly really, really like this hair um, because it reminds me of Channing's old hair. Like, he just had super long hair. He didn't have the bangs, though, but I like the bangs. So cute. I think I'm going to keep it. And then let's give him some outfits. So it is springtime. It's a little bit cold, so I have to keep that in mind. But let's see what we can do here. Um, no, he probably doesn't need something that, that warm. This is kind of cute. I don't think, I don't think Channing would care about what he wears. I think Penny would care a little bit more. I think Penny would want him to be in this. Oh, this kind of matches the shirt that Penny has. Oh, yeah, this does. This matches one of the shirts that Penny wears. I think it's like her everyday, her second everyday wear. Um, so we'll put that shirt on him, and then, what are these pants? Uh, I feel like we don't have good pants for toddlers, like, what? <laughs> that's not, that's so blue. 
see like who who thought that these were a good that this was a good idea this is not blue jeans this is literally like freaking electric blue and then oh i haven't seen this yet that is cute oh <gasps> that's cute i think his favorite color is gonna be green i think we're just gonna say it's green oh and he has a little birthmark you guys he has a little birthmark just like his grandmother i will show you guys when we get back in or i can show you guys right now see he has a little birthmark just like his little just like his grandmother i think that was i just thought that was a cute idea i gave that to him as an infant all right and then swimwear i really really don't mind but we might be going to sulani so it does matter a little bit and then hot weather wear we'll just do we'll just do this but without the glasses because that doesn't make sense for him to have glasses oh why are his eyes changing is this the sims medieval i love the sims medieval i have been playing the sims 3 medieval or i think it's just called the sims medieval but it has like the sims 3 graphics so basically alan has just been playing uh or with our toys and playing on the computer let's have him go outside a little bit let's get some fresh air oh look at these little kitties over here meow meow and bella let's have alan fish maybe him and channing could like bond over fishing because channing loves fishing as well and so does uh alan let's see when alan or, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, no. He ages up next week. Here he is, walking away, getting his steps in. I think he's gonna go play with the toy. We do need to potty train him, though, for sure. I love this terrain mod, and I love the way everything looks. It's so pretty. But yeah, we got a spotted eggplant frog. Oh, it's only $10. Oh, we'll just sell it. All right, how are we doing? He's angry because he wants sugar. Well, I'm sorry, but you already had birthday cake and you can't have any more. Ask not to have emotional meltdowns. Calmly. Okay, and then we will teach him to say please and thank you. I really want to work on, you know, doing everything that I can with him. So, okay, what are we catching? It seems like we're catching some stuff. Oh, Chaden got a catfish and then, oh, we already got, okay, we got a lionfish. I'm going to have Alan go ahead and go home because he's really, really tired. Oh, oh my gosh. He hates being carried. That's interesting. Okay. Wow. And he threw a tantrum wow channing you need to come in here and discipline you need to teach him to say sorry because that is just not okay you do not need to have a tantrum when your grandpa is trying to put you to bed so let's um go ahead and put eric to bed so you all know i think i have discussed this but he does have a want to have another child and i the only reason why i want them to have another child well not the only reason but that's one of the main reasons is if my sim tells me that they want to have another child you know I, I want them to have another child so but obviously i do i do want to see if they could have a girl like that would just be amazing i really really want them to have a girl so oh no he has another quirk of being a light sleeper that is insane like i actually really really enjoy how different how different sims are like how how different they are growing up i mean because you can get different toddlers you know what i mean like not every toddler is gonna grow up with the same quirks and stuff but maybe we can get him back to sleep but he's a picky eater he's a light sleeper and he hates being carried that is like such a <laughs> he's gonna be such a difficult toddler he was honestly like a really easy infant but i feel like he's gonna be such a hard toddler hopefully he stays asleep maybe we will i thought we had auto lights on okay there we go we'll turn the lights off for him hopefully he'll go to sleep i think it's because it's raining outside is why he he woke up 
all right i think i'm gonna end this video here guys i really hope you enjoyed please let me know opinions on storyline ideas with eric and things that we could do with him um, I will pull up the next generation rules now. Obviously, we still have a little bit of time until we get to that point because we have to wait for him to age up. But as that time is coming, I want you guys to still be entertained and still be um, engaged with this story and this family. Um, but yeah, just let me know down in the comments below. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Thank you.